Today we're having an autism conference. It's a two-day conference with educators, educational professionals such as speech-language pathologists, occupational therapists, diagnosticians, and we also have parents and family members that come and attend as well. Uh, my name is Brenda Smith-Miles and I'm the president of AAPC Publishing and I've worked in the area of autism for many years. There has been a recent increase in prevalence of to one in 59 individuals have autism. And the question is always, you know, why? We are better at identifying, that is absolutely true, but people believe there's something going on that accounts for that increase, whether it is genetic, whether it's environmental, most likely it is a combination of the two. There is no one size fits all. Every child with autism needs something a little bit different. The approach that I'm talking about this morning provides individualized uh, supports for individuals with autism in a way that really doesn't uh, cause a burden that allows educational professionals to focus on teaching um, in a way that makes sense to families, the students with autism, and the teachers themselves. One of our goals here is to educate teachers, professionals, parents, and so events such as this help to bring that education. I think the awareness has been raised so more and more people are knowing how to work with individuals who have autism. Um, but we still have a lot of work to do <laughs> and to support our kiddos that have autism in, in the region.